Welcome guys, I'll show you today how to use morph targets and I'll be using those to make a mushroom grow from the ground. So uh, same thing, um, I'll be using Blender and Unreal Engine for this. So always when we go to Blender, we want to go to our scenes, change the units to metric and the value to 0 0.01 to match um, Unreal Engines. Then I press N and I'll just turn on my screencast down here and I'll just change the clip distance to 1km. Okay, once we've done that, we'll just press A to delete everything and then I'll add a, go to Shift A Mesh, add a circle. Now this this um, tutorial will be really simple, but I think this can be really useful for you guys. So let's make this smaller. Now uh, morph targets as we know them in, Un uh, in um, Unreal Engine, in Blender we call them shape keys. So to add shape keys, we go to this icon right here. And here's our shape keys vertex group. So in shape keys, we'll add one. So our basic is this state right here. Now we'll add another one. And this um, this is called key one. I'll call this morph. Now you need to remember this name because we'll need this name in Unreal Engine. Tell Unreal Engine what we've done here. Okay, let's press enter. Now what I'll do is so let's press tab on this, and then press E and Z to extrude on the Z axis, and then S to scale in, and then E and S to extrude and then scale out. Once I've done that, I'll take this down a bit. Press E again, then Z, about here, and then E, and then scale in. Now I'll bring this up and I'll press F to fill in the gap right here. So now we have a morph target. So now, um, as if I show you guys, this is the value done here. So this will be our animation. This is a really simple way of doing this. You guys can do plants, growing plants, or uh, wing movements in birds and stuff. So rather than having to do all the animations, this is a quick way to do things. It can be quite useful. Now if I do this, we have a mushroom growing from the ground. Changing this value. Now I'll just leave this value at 1. I'll go here. Click on smooth, so we have a smooth shading. You guys can um, press tab and edit the shape however you guys want to. I'm going to make all this go down a bit. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it. Press tab and then do press control 1. And this gives you a smooth shape, but this is a lot of um, vertices. Right now, I don't really mind this so much, so. And then I'll just uh, drag this open. Go down here, go to UV image editor. I'm just going to add, um, add a texture up here that I've, I've made myself. You guys don't have to, it's really up to you. Change to face. I'll select all these. And then unwrap and project from view bounds and scale this in. Now I'll, um, it's just a simple texture, I made this inside GIMP, it's just a circle with those things on the sides. And once I've done that, if I go to texture mode, I can see my texture. Looks pretty good up here, so I'm happy with that. So now what I'll do is, I'll just close this, go back to solid mode, and I'll go into materials. I'll add a new material to this. And then I'll um, I'll press A actually, C in the middle mouse button to deselect all these and add a new material to this as well, and click new. So now hopefully the bottom and the top have different materials to each other. And then to press tab again, I'll just select this again. Now let's see how I assign the second material down there. So now we basically have um, two different materials for each of them and I'm happy with this. So once you've done that, you guys don't have to add, add materials. So I just want to do this so it looks nicer. Anyways, once you've done that, once you have your uh, your morph targets down here, you guys will just make sure it's on one and then we'll go to file and export as an FBX. Now here the uh, important thing to notice, you guys want to make sure the version is set to 6.1 and down here you guys only have mesh, mesh selected and then you guys can name this, I'll just save it over uh, one of the older files I made and then I'll just click on export. Now I'll go to Unreal Engine. Now if you guys did press um, this this key right here, um, if you guys just press um, um, Control 1 then uh, your morph targets will not work inside Unreal really, really Engine. So before you export this out, just come down here to this um, option right here and make sure no modifiers have been attached. So I just removed mine and now um, I'll, ha I'll head over to Unreal Engine. Now inside Unreal Engine, we'll just go into import. We'll find our mushroom file 
and the uh, the two textures I made in GIMP, they're very simple, not much to them. And down here we want to make sure we have two main options selected. First one is um, under mesh, make sure you have um, a skeletal mesh selected. And second one, if you go down here, make sure uh, import morph targets is also um, checked. So after you have these, just click on import, should be quite quick. And you have your um, import ready. Now in this material, just go right click, create material. And I'll open this. I'll drag in the mushroom um, emissive. Now I'll move this up and down here I'll add a 3, I'll hold 3 and left click to add a 3 vector. And I'll add a um, multiply. I'll connect these two together and then I'll put this into the emissive. And then I'll go down here, I'll change this to light blue. I'll turn the value up quite a bit, like 3 maybe. And sorry, not, not the main one. I'll connect the um, opacity mask in here. So now only these things um, get brighter, not the whole thing. And I'll make this two-sided. Now once we've done that, as you guys can see, this looks pretty good. I'll just save this. You guys can make many different textures using game, but uh, GIMP is pretty easy to use, like a Photoshop um, alternative. Now here's our main file, the um, skeletal mesh. I'll open this. And I'll find out which one's which, so the top one is this. Or I can just drag both into them, and then um, I'll show you guys what this does. Now inside here, um, if you guys notice this value right here, this is the same value as you had inside um, Blender. So of course I told you guys, um, or I should have told you guys to, in your move targets, make sure this is on 1, the value is on 1. If your value is on 1, if you guys go to mi uh, minus 1, it will disappear, and then as you go up, it will start growing. So our value is from uh, minus 1 to 0, but if you go any higher than that, then your shape will start to um, distort. So if I, prove, if I show it to you, the minus 1 to 0, and then when I go to 1, this doesn't look good anymore. So make sure you go from uh, minus 1 to 0. Okay, so once you have that, I'll just, um, I'll drag out the mushroom into the scene, right in the middle here. And then we'll go to blueprints and open level blueprint. Now, I was just, I'm experimenting, so I'll delete all this and show you guys how to do it. So, make sure your mushroom is selected. I'll right click here, create a reference to the mushroom. Now, I'll drag out and type morph. And set morph targets. And once you've done that, we want to add a timeline. So, just type timeline and then select this. We'll connect our timeline update into our morph targets and down here if you guys remember inside blender um, Whatever you named your morph target the second one. I named a morph You need to write that right here. So if I write morphia m-o-r-p-h Now um now Unreal Engine knows which morph target it should aim for which is why um obviously you guys can have more than one morph targets Which can be really used for um, animations like face animations or animals and stuff And then we'll double click this to open up the timeline I'll add a float track and I'll right click here and add a key right here. I'll drag this down. So for time, I'll set this to zero and the value I'll set down to minus one. Now, once you've done that, um, I'll add the, oops, just messed up. Just to, uh, make it go back to minus one and zero. Then I, I'll add a new value right here, add a new key. And for this one, I'll set the value to zero and the time to let's say 3 and I'll add another value and I'll put this up to 5 and make the value 0 now if I click um, compile we'll go back to our event graph and down here we want to select our track and connect it to the value right here and if I press compile now when I simulate okay it's not working seems like I'm missing something let's find out Yep, so inside your timeline, just I just realized what I'm missing. Uh, up here we want to make sure we click auto play and loop. So loop will make this play over and over again. If you guys want to do it once, you guys can set those settings up here to turn off loop. So once you've done that, it will compile this. Now if I click play, it will auto start growing. And yeah, so there you go. And then now one more thing before we uh, before we finish this some um, tutorial. Now let's say you guys want to have multiple of these um, in an area, but you don't 
you don't obviously want to have because um, if you do them manually one by one then you'll have to make uh, references for each of them inside the blueprints and you will have lots and lots of these files so what do you do if you want multiples well for this we'll go back to blender down here we'll uh, right click on to select our thing and then alt T and then left click and drag on the side so alt the left click scale just make as many as you want so no matter how much make them all different sizes alt the like a smaller uh, one good thing is when you press alt D it takes it takes these keys for each of them as well so anything you do to one will um, will be changed with the others and you can obviously press some um, shift D to do it differently so I'm just doing alt D left click and then dragging on one of the axes and once you're happy with how many you have just um, press shift C and then press A to select all of them A twice and then control J and now they're all one group and then control shift alt c to make the origin this one now if i move this value all, all of them will start growing and going back now i'll go back to file export fpx and i'll save it over the same file from before and inside unreal engine don't need to do anything else now just stop this and in mushroom right click and re-import and then yes all it will re uh, it will re-import the bones and stuff so now everything is already set up. You guys can have as many mushrooms as you want, but make sure you um, you edit them in Blender because doing them manually will take a long time and it's going to be a lot more expensive. Now if I click play, they all grow at the same time. Don't do, do anything else. And we have some growing mushrooms from the ground. Now one thing to mention as you guys just saw, um, I should probably mention this to you guys, is uh, if you go really close, um, the camera angle sometimes makes them disappear. I haven't figured out why. And sometimes uh, they start um, they start to flicker for some reason. I did some research on it. I couldn't find out why exactly, but uh, one of the this thing exactly right here. Uh, one of the staff members from uh, Unreal Engine, I checked one of his posts, and he said that this could be a computer specification issue. So you should try turning down the uh, resolution and stuff. I ha I haven't found anything um, to help with that, but if you guys find something out, let me know in the comments. So this is how you guys make uh, mushrooms and use morph targets. I hope you guys found this useful. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.